His great nine-year drought will now continue as his career pursuit hits. Rory McIlroy came here to chop down trees. The trees were clearly quite keen on this, which is much more to be said for any stick in McIlroy's bag. By late Saturday morning, inevitable was confirmed, meaning the world's final slump at number two Grand Slam has come to an end. However, Augusta National has another year to ponder and chew through its green mysteries and their continued inability to solve them. Not even the weather could save him. Between final bogey of Friday's 77 and delayed result of second round, he threw it to ground. The wind blew. The cutting line shifted one stroke from two to three. And yet he missed by two, just 17 strokes Brooks Kepka, one pair behind a solid tiger, and four that shrewd 62-year-old Fred Couples. Rory McIlroy missed the cut, after finishing over five on 36 holes at the Masters it has been a disappointing day for McIlroy, who will continue his quest for the green jacket. He struggled through Friday's round and hit seven bogeys to card a disappointing 77. Their showdown continues tomorrow, with possibility squeezing remaining 30 holes in much better weather to determine whether one of them will be winner 87th Masters. More encouraging for the home interests, Matt Fitzpatrick, who reached five bottoms after 11 holes and Justin Rose was easily placed one back, but McElroy's absence sadly jarring. So, let's go back to Tuesday when everything seemed fine in his world. McElroy was relieved. He was ready to win his first big branch in nine years and always eluded him. McElroy told us what he needs most is a quick start and the mental fortitude to hold it together. Unfortunately, the gun fired and he did not shoot. The opening 72 failed to fall below average in his first cycle for the sixth time since 2015. The next 77 was his worst score here since 2016. The easy conclusion is that succumbs the enormity of his post, but finer brushstrokes will have to wait, because he didn't speak reporters when left on Friday. Often, those operating on the verge of sporting greatness can be swallowed up by the scale of what they want to accomplish. It's too early say for 33-year-old with unlimited talent, but you can only imagine that with each passing year, it's getting harder and harder to submit psychological teachings such as one shot at a time, one shot at time, not depending on the situation. McIlroy must find a way clear the mental traffic of coming to Augusta if he wants win here. For McIlroy, the Masters and Majors in general will always be his luck, his opportunity, and when one passes by, or in this case quickly walks away, the next one gets a little more weighty. It's a cruel cycle that he has to break, and it's perhaps ironic that the man who has the most in common with this is Greg Norman, his great LIV nemesis. You suspect this is a decision that will never be made, but no matter how McElroy handles it, he needs find a way to clear the mental traffic he seems be encountering in this glorious place. Overburdened by golf's admirable contribution to the struggle for political medicine, Given the quality of his form during the LIV conflicts, that would have been extremely revisionist. But at height of his reforms for PGA Tour, it's undeniable that his game seemed to have deserted him, with missed cut at Players' Championship last month proving to be an omen for this nosedive in Georgia. In between, between driving and recuing, they both disappeared here. Shots from the long stick were alarmingly lost, and his green job was summed up by the four feet he missed at 16 on Friday. Augusta has a habit of creating crisis out of dramas at both clubs. Now it's a matter of response, as McElroy will race next week at RBC Heritage in South Carolina. As he retreated that mission, Master's work briefly continued in rain, and mission destined to complete third round had already lost most of day complete second round. Regarding latter, Tiger Woods made a cut that was pretty remarkable in its own right and proved beyond Justin Thomas, but after hitting six in seven holes, he became the last of nine top survivors, a 15-time big winner. His obvious limping will raise suspicions that he will be withdrawn before the tournament is over. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods made the cut, 
but was past nine when rain stopped the game on Saturday. Brooks Kepka took his top lead to minus 13 on Saturday, John Rahm chasing him under nine, ready to take advantage of any mistake at other end of leaderboard, Kepka made it even clearer, at top, 18th placed LIV party emerges. Picking up where under 12 left off, he put together second, which is usually launch pad for a good lap, and kept him steady for four more pars during storm. Ram, world number three, was less robust. He also smashed the second, but took a step while hoping for the fourth and scored three out of five to give Kepka a four-stroke lead. Brilliant American amateur Sam Bennett was ahead of a five-under and three-under six, including Fitzpatrick, whose familiarity with bad weather provided a three-shot offense on the field.